Greetings sky lovers, my name is Ivan, I'll be your pilot speaking for this video. Welcome back to my channel, in this video we're going to talk about should you start a career as a pilot in 2023. In this video we're going to focus mostly about is it um, easy to become a pilot. The idea for this video comes from everybody who wants to become a pilot and they're interested about uh, how they should become a pilot. What is the path that a pilot should follow? Now that's a great question, don't get me wrong. Of course, everybody has to start somewhere and the first thing you have to do is ask questions. Now, I decided to make this video because in Instagram, in TikTok, I see a lot of pilots who are just posting videos from the cockpit and they say how amazing everything is. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I don't want to sound hypocritical. I also uh, upload uh, pictures and videos from the cockpit and Instagram. Uh, now I started in TikTok, uh, you should follow me there as well. However, with those social apps, you get the idea or the concept that uh, it's not that hard to become a pilot because it's in the human nature. We tend to not focus on the hard things and only focus on the uh, end result which is great we should always think about results but the amount of work dedication and so on should be considered as well now to be honest when i started in aviation i had absolutely no idea what i should do what i'm expected to do and what i'm getting into this is why i'm making this video because i didn't have that and i would have loved to have that kind of video to gain a basic understanding of how you become a pilot to make a better choice whether is it or not for me so in general the path of a pilot how it goes it goes like this so you search on the internet for information how to become a pilot after that most probably you end up finding a flight school you go to that flight school talk it over with the owner of the school and based on their offer you will decide to start there or not or maybe look for another school either way your journey as a student pilot begins now i knew that a pilot has to know a lot of things the thing that i didn't realize is how much information is out there it's just mind-blowing I was really, really surprised. So what do you do? You get all these books, 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 information, information. At the same time, you have to go to fly. Now, you have to realize that if you are a student pilot, you're going to fly a very small plane. For example, the small general aviation airplane that I started, the empty weight was 325 kilos. So because the weight of this airplane is so light, the limitations are very small for it okay what i mean by that so for example let's say that the airplane wants to land right because you took off you want to land obviously okay so normally the airplane would want to land like this provided that that's the runway right as the airplane is landing let's pretend that there is crosswind so let's say it's from this side right as the airplane is landing the wind is trying to blow the airplane off our runway which is around here in order to counteract the effect of the wind the pilot has to okay there are a couple of techniques that the pilot can use but let's say he uses the technique which causes the nose to turn into the wind this means he's crabbing the pilot is crabbing into the wind in this direction and the wind is blowing so that the airplane lands like this kind of sideways just before touchdown the airplane would uh, again center the nose of the airplane with the runway extended center line and he will land the harder the wind is blowing the more correction the pilot has to make to counteract the effect of the wind and here is where the limitations come into place the airplane is certified that it can fly when the crosswind is up to let's say 15 knots okay no problem that means that i should not fly if the crosswind for the runway i'm taking off or landing at is more than 15 knots and that's exactly right however as you start learning more about meteorology you understand that when the temperature is higher let's say in the summer the higher the temperature the more wind is created so the wind speed is lower during the night during the morning during the late afternoon than during the day in general so that means that with your little airplane in order for you not to exceed your crosswind limitation you have to wake up early in the morning but you say wait a minute i can also do it in the afternoon yes while that is true flight schools prefer to have their flights early in the morning it could be 5 30 a.m 6 a.m 7 a.m 
As a bonus, by the way, most general aviation schools are not located in the city. Normally, they are located like 50, 60, 70 kilometers away from a major city. And that means that you have to wake up even earlier to get into your car or transportation or call your flight instructor to pick you up and go to the airport. Everything is new. The people you meet are new. The lifestyle of a pilot is new to you. Just everything is going to be a new thing for you. That's not easy. Okay, so are you starting to get a clear picture? You have to wake up really early. You have to study a lot because you have a lot of information as well as exams that are coming. And on top of that, you have to learn how to fly an airplane, an airplane. So for the car drivers out there who have driver's license, just imagine how hard it was the first time when you drove a car. It was quite a shock, right? Everything like pedestrians, uh, signs, you have to use the clutch, the gas, the brakes, right? So now imagine more or less the same thing, but 10 times more complicated. Okay, so another very important aspect in the life of a student pilot something that you have to develop good health habits because you as a pilot will go through strict medical exams and you have to be able to show that your body is capable of flying basically so that means that your eyes obviously have to be good your heart uh, your vestibular system and many many more so just have that in mind everybody has different habits but good health habits are something that you have to develop uh, in your pilot career uh, for example a lot of pilots become well fat and this is because they're just sitting in the pilot seat and then they're sitting in the hotel room or wherever they are which means that it's very easy to become overweight so just have that in mind okay so we talked about a lot of things let's just sum it up there's a lot of things you have to study you have to learn how to fly an airplane early flights good health habits so these are the things that you will have to do whether you like them or not whether you want to do them or not Overall, is it easy to become a pilot? In my opinion, no, it's not. It takes a lot of dedication, willpower, hard work, a mindset that will not let you give up. All those things are required in order for you to become a pilot. This is going to create a skill set that you're going to develop, which is going to be really, really beneficial in life. And that's why I said it's changed my character in the beginning. So yeah, I hope you like this video about is it easy to become a pilot. There's definitely a lot more that can be said about this topic. And I'd be glad to read your comments and listen to what you have to say. Maybe I missed a lot of things. Maybe I have to make part two about this video. Okay, so you just learned a lot of the things that you have to do in order to become a pilot. Obviously, they are not easy as we discovered. But the thing is, I'm going to do all those things. What do I get in return? Yeah, you know where this is going. It's time to talk about money. So there are a lot of it to cover. How much does it cost to become a pilot? What should I expect as a salary? Basic salary? What about in one year, two years, five years, 10 years? So if you're interested in those things, click that video right here. Well, anyway, guys, it was a pleasure making this video. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, share, subscribe, or don't do whatever you want. <laughs> I was your pilot speaking for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.